Hello, this is Alexander from rightbuilt.ca and here I am showing you my one of my mocks that I built for BrickCan 2020. Uh, due to the current situation, they've decided to run the uh, convention virtually instead. So here is my showcase of what I've achieved. This is the Hercules Heavy Freighter and Utility Shuttle. It is a micro scale space build. And as you can see, it follows a white and orange color scheme. I'll give a quick spin of the model here. So on this model, originally I wanted to go with the hexagon, hexagon design for the cargo containers. Um, I then decided to switch to the standard storage crate because I thought it was an interesting piece that gave a little more detail on the side profiles and allowed for a smaller scale of the ship to be built. I then proceeded to start with the utility shuttle. With the utility shuttle, I used the skeleton arms from the, the Ninjago line uh, to give it a little more mechanical feel. I also wanted to make sure that the containers would be actually attachable to the hands of the utility shuttle so that it could actually pick up and move the storage crates around. Um, the design for this ship was inspired by the utility shuttle in the Independence Day, the second movie, the little moon shuttle that they had. Transitioning to the midsection of the ship, I started to, to give it that tugboat-like feel. I started to incorporate these circular pieces to make it look like an engine build-up to the actual thrusters, and there are quad thrusters to the back. For the main uh, transport ship, uh, I started off by working on the engine area. So I created these very rectangular, aggressive looking engines, again, to make it look like it had uh, quite a bit of strength. And I also incorporated a few smaller, more precision engines to allow for steering and such. And one of my favorite things is from previous Brickan, I acquired a handful of these new candlestick pieces. So I was very excited to get a chance to use them. Moving along the side, I had the idea of adding these circular sections to simulate docking ports so that the utility shuttle would actually be able to park on the uh, main transport freighter itself for long travels from planet to planet. I also worked on the bridge and I gave it a large surrounding view, including of the rear of the ship so that it would not get ambushed by any space pirates there may be. And I also ensured to add the, some details for communications on the top. And moving on to the front, the most exciting part is the dual satellite dishes for communication. Uh, under the main part. This model also contains an underside and it is just too heavy that, to support itself on its own using the landing gear. So there is a additional support column that runs through the center to support it. And all the landing gear is retractable for flight time. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for more.